Ugh, Uncle Hector, do I have to go on this man trip? I'm afraid so, Ty. You're already one year old. You need to go. You've been actually late. You're one year and a month. You need to go. Ugh, Hector, don't rush him. Uh, it's fine, Aunt Jem. I just... I don't know. I want to be here when you give birth to your foal. <sighs> By then, you'll already be two years old, and you'll be back here, and... Well, you won't want to play anymore. Oh, I'll always want to play. Ugh, will you get rid of that ugly, childish voice already? Hector. Well, I'm sorry, but... Ugh, yeah. oh, well, I guess I'll be heading out. Hector, does he really have to go on this trip? Yes, I don't know how many times I've said this before. You have to go, otherwise, well, the whole herd will disrespect you. I understand, I guess. Well, I guess you do have to go, little Ty. We have to look for your uncle, Jupiter, and Jason. Yes, that's why I'm rushing him. Okay, well, calm down. Well, I've already said my goodbyes, Aunt Jem and Uncle Hector, so I guess I'll just be going. Bye, Ty. Bye, Ty. Oh. Where do I start going, Uncle Hector? Wherever the wind takes you. Well, goodbye. Why were you so mean to him? I wasn't mean. That's how my... That's how my father was. Ugh, don't get all emotional. You'll find your father. He's somewhere out there. I hope so. <gasps> Jupiter. Where have you been? You've been gone for three days, and you missed Ty's going away party. Going away party? What are you talking about? Ty, he's turned one year old. We already sent him on his two-year trip. Already? Ugh, we didn't know I missed that. Uh, well, you did. Now, what were you doing in those three days? Oh, um, me and Jason were just... Visiting a neighboring land, or not really land, but I guess valley, and it says barren there too, so yeah, we just got a land out of the way. Well, you picked the most perfect time for it. Oh, uh, well, thanks. I was being sarcastic. I don't even want to talk to you. Sorry for Hector, he's just been, well, stressed since the baby and stuff. Well, I would be, too. I mean, I wouldn't be. I would be a better father than he was. Please don't say anything like that. <sighs> well, I guess I'm going to go meet Hector. You see, that is exactly why she left you. Shut up, Jason. How are we going to tell him about the full news? I don't know, but all I know is... I, I wanted to bring the mare back here. I mean, how are we supposed to get our foals? We're gonna go back in a year. I know, I didn't want to leave her either. She was my soulmate. I know, isn't that kind of weird that we both met our soulmate? What are you talking about? Um, like maybe we had the same mare- oh, well, never mind. Ugh, no, it's perfectly fine. I mean, wait, what colors- what- um, like, what was the color coat of your mare? Oh, um, ugh, I'm even forgetting what she looked like. Mine was, um, a black and white pinto. Oh, mine was the, uh, yours was the same? No, it was a, uh, dun. It was a dun. Oh, well, that's good. I was thinking that we had the same mare. I mean, I would kill you if we did have it. Come on, let's go graze over here. Oh, great. I think me and Jupiter got the same mare. My mare had a black and white coat. Oh, no. 
What I can't believe is that you can't go into your own son's herd and join it. It's not that easy. Uh, yeah, it is. The, his herd is just beyond there, and you've been spying on him ever since you dumped him here in the valley. <sighs> I thought it would give him a better life to be with those other foals. What better life? A better life? Is that what you just said? My god, I can't believe you. You think having a life without knowing who you really are is better? <sighs> just stop, you're making me feel bad. Good. I want you to join the herd because I need a new herd too. I mean, I know I'm his grandpa and all, but you're the father. Okay, Dad. <sighs> I can't believe we just left poor Hector like that and let those other fools name him some stupid Spanish name. I mean, what's wrong with you? Okay, okay, I get it. Hey, what's, what's that over there? What's what? There's horses over there. Where? What the? Who is that? Do we know them? Well, obviously not. Wait, what are they doing? Cola, be nice to your little brother. Mom, she's hurting my feelings. Well, it's true. You're so tiny. You could probably fit in one of those mouse holes that we stomp on. Cola, that's enough. Oh, yeah, fine. So annoying. <sighs> Juke, we need to move somewhere else. It's so barren here. We need to move into a herd. <sighs> I know, Savannah. It's just, we haven't seen any horses around here for miles, and I don't know if, I don't even know. I don't know if... <sighs> no, maybe I shouldn't say anything. You're gonna get mad at me. Ugh, just say it. What's wrong? Well, I'm afraid that Max isn't gonna survive. He's so tiny. Ugh, are you agreeing with Cola now? No, Max is strong. He's just... tiny. Maybe he took after Mom's stupid pony side. Cola, shut up. Dad, I agree with Mom. Let's move into a herd. I mean, who am I supposed to marry? That's a long ways off, Cola. Don't even remind me that you're getting older. Well, I guess we could go looking for other horses, I guess. Daddy, are we going to go on a trip? Yes, son. Oh, I'm, I don't know. I'm kind of agreeing with you. I don't know if Max should go on a trip this hard. Can I go, Mom? Of course you can. You're a healthy foal. Am I not a healthy foal? Yes, you are. You're just a, um, a smaller version of a foal. That's it. Mom, you need to tell him the truth. What truth is there that he's going to die? <sighs> I don't know. Max, can I... T I mean... Not Max. Not you, Max. Um, Juke, can I talk with you? Cola, go search for some food. <sighs> God, Mom. When the days are cold in the car